Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're in the Ponce Inlet area of Daytona, and we are at Hidden Treasure. This is the last fish camp restaurant that still exists in Florida, and I'm not sure what all that entails, but as you see the sign over there, uh, that's what it says. It's been here forever. It's right next to the lighthouse at Ponce Inlet, and it's known for seafood, but it has a very diversified menu which we'll talk more about when we get in there. Before we get going though, I want to give a couple shout outs. Of course, Bill North continues. His generosity to my channel gave me another $25 thank you on the YouTube comment section. And also, we got a recommendation last night when we were over at Racing's North Turn. That couple that we were talking to, they gave us recommendations of local places and this was one of them and then i was going through comment section today from last night's video and we got a recommendation from shannon back to come here we were kind of on the fence didn't know where we're going tonight but then i saw shannon back reaffirmed what the people the locals said last night so that's what gave us the nudge to go ahead and come on here look over here that looks like an old torpedo it looks like the one that went through my grandfather's ship in World War II. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead, go in there and check this out. It's known for great seafood and spectacular views. So let's go on in. Okay, I forgot to mention up front, one of the recommendations from last night with the couple that was sitting next to us at Racing's North Turn said suggested this place because they said it wasn't a touristy place. Not a lot of tourists know about it. And it's kind of got that local feel. You know, I bet a lot of fishermen come in here. And this is where all the fishing boats come in and out. Deep sea fishing, stuff like that. You can see some guys just came in. And... Yeah, definitely not your beach crowd, that's for sure. Really can't get any better than this. Well, while we're waiting on our table, just do a little walkthrough. This place is gigantic. You can see a lot of outdoor seating. They got undercover seating, but it's open air. So you got a really cozy bar there. Looks like a lot of locals would hang out there. And if you don't want to be in the open air, you can always come inside and eat here. But the weather is so perfect. Literally everybody is sitting outdoors or in the open air seating area. Here's something really neat. And they have one little section if you have a nice size party. A couple of the people just left, but you can actually eat on a boat that's attached to the restaurant. We have the man-eating tree here. Saying people that have climbed this tree are known to have never been seen again. I guess that's a good way to keep the kids off. Really cool is they have like these live oak trees that are growing right up in the middle of the restaurant love live oak trees <laughs> all right so got our appetizers oh shoot i was i was doing it so <laughs> and i got the calamari because mary loves calamari 
I know you're going to need ketchup because they have what kind of bacon ranch is it? Jalapeno. Jalapeno bacon ranch, which I'm going to use some of that probably on my wings. <laughs> my bad. And these look like true buffalo style uh, wings, unbreaded. Daddy's girl. She sure is. Can you stop being cringe, please? All right, let me try out these buffalo wings. And I ordered their hottest level. They have mild, medium, hot. I said, bring them on hot. I doubt anyone is surprised by that. Being that Melissa panned away during my wing pull technique. I showed the victory. Yeah, but you didn't show the technique. So I got to do it again. By the way, very tasty, tangy sauce. But now for your viewing pleasure. V is in victory. Well, now a word from my sponsor. Hi, I'm Lisa George, your Kentucky Realtor, and thank you, Barry, for making me a part of this today. Uh, recently, I was asked, so what sets you apart from all the other realtors? And my gut reaction was, I take care of my people. I always put my heart and soul into helping all of my people like they're my family. So, you know, buying a house, it, it's a big deal, and I take it very seriously. It's personal, but it doesn't have to be complicated. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, I'm your girl. I will make sure to fight for you and get you everything you want. So just call me, 502-836-3100. All right, so calamari. Mary, what do you think? It's really good. See, she's got her island of ketchup. The sauce is good. The jalapeno bacon ranch is really Go ahead and, good. Have you tried it yet? Yes. Go ahead and eat one. I already ate one. <laughs> All right. So, Melissa's being camera shy. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, no. This is mine. It's got all those tentacles on it. Look at that. Make sure I get enough of that sauce. Oh. Crunchy white batter. It's got that nice chewy texture that I like in the calamari. And that jalapeno bacon ranch is just excellent. Perfect complement. And it also comes with battered fried jalapenos. Is it jalapeno or banana pepper? That looks like, well... There's a banana pepper. Okay. Yeah, it is banana pepper because they're sweet and they're not hot. I'm going to try that again. Mm. I am absolutely digging this place. What do you think? You like your wings? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you thought I had a fat head. Okay, so I got the seafood pasta, and it comes with mussels, shrimp, and scallop. And it comes with a lobster sauce, which has a little lobster in it, but not big chunks, kind of fine pieces. And I've never had lobster sauce before, so this is going to be an experience. They say it's kind of like an Alfredo. Just bursting with flavor. And then it comes with tomatoes in it. Look at that. Just creamy goodness. 
ん。うまそう。うん。じゃ。うん。Oh, what? What do you got, Mary? How's your mac and cheese? Mmm. What happened? There was an ant on me. Oh my goodness. I think it was going to sting me. Let's do that again. Sorry, Mary. Oh, you, I know you put the ketchup on there thinking I wasn't going to eat it. She sure did. All over that mac and cheese. Gross. Sorry to ruin your hopes. Mm. Mm. Excellent. Oh, who cares? It's an ant. Look at her. I got collard greens on the side. Brought my scalini. And that's real fresh collards. Look, still got stems. Got bacon. You can see the bacon in it. Mmm. Really good. All right, I'm going to show you what Melissa has. Okay, so Melissa got the batter dip cod with fries. It's a humongous piece of cod with a double hush puppy melded into one, batter dip fries. But look at the size of this piece. Well, <laughs> anyway. It's just like Irish cod, it's batter dipped, and I'm gonna have to try a piece with some malt vinegar on it, if Melissa's willing. All right, Melissa's gonna let me try a bite, of the batter dipped cod. I get some of that tartar slathered on there. A little scalini, and last but not least, a little malt vinegar. Mm. By the way, the server said when we asked if we should get the grouper or the cod, she said we asked which one was better, and believe it or not, she said the cod, which, you know, grouper is like a fresh fish around here, so that is excellent cod right there. All right, so moving along, this sauce, this lobster sauce is so rich. I was thinking at first, I was like, well, that doesn't look like too big of a portion. But let me tell you, the richness of that lobster sauce, it's got that cheese in it and cream. It's so rich. I'll be doing good just to complete this bowl. Got the zestiness of the tomatoes that blends really well. And then look at there, another muscle. Mm. Comes with a couple hush puppies. All right, I'm gonna keep working on it. Collard greens, nice accompaniment to this. We'll be right back. All right, as you see, made short work of that. And thankfully, Melissa got full. So I'm gonna finish her batter dip cod. Gotta have that malt vinegar on that batter dip. Mmm.
Very good. By the way, we're coming back here on Thursday. We're going to do a dolphin manatee tour out of Ponce Inlet. So, really looking forward to that. All right, we're going to finish up here, pay up. Then we're going to go out there on the uh, docks, give you some parting words. Okay, I appreciate you all coming along with me on this spring break excursion this year. It's been a lot of nostalgia going and visiting places that I was at back in 1987 and before that in high school. All right, this is another one of my famous spring break spots. I can remember spring of 87 being here with the fraternity. We were uh, staying down at the Days Inn, but I can remember being here for the Eddie Money concert. Pretty sure it was spring of 87. My roommate, Jim Crawford, he found a $50 bill on the ground, put his foot on it, took me and Al Hay out for drinks and dinner the whole rest of the night. Another thing you might remember is if you ever watched that show Cheer, which I have been watching that because my girls were addicted to that show, it always culminated at the, at the end of every season. Uh, the big national cheer competition would be here every year. Anyway, lots of good memories here. All the big bands performed here back in the mid to late 80s. You had Mr. Mister played here during the time I was here. And then of course, this is the, the headquarters where MTV were set up and doing all the concert promos and everything. But yeah, it brings back a lot of good memories here. Might have saw, uh, inserted a clip earlier when we were down at the boardwalk. But anyway, everything was great here. As far as like the ambience and the decor and the atmosphere of like being on the water, you're not gonna beat this. And the food was great too. So if you're ever in Daytona, definitely include this place on your list. And with that, y'all don't know nothing about this hidden treasure. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.